So the best part about getting over being really sick is what's coming out of my mouth right now. I don't know what kind of voice this is. There's so much blood. Cures of war. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Wilbur! Wilbur! <laughs> this has been what's going through my mind all day. I have amazing, amazing voice recordings with one of my best friends, Natasha. She got a new microphone. And I'm sorry if I'm shouting, but this is the only way I can actually get my voice out. But, um, she and I, when my voice wasn't so severely gone and bad, we both recorded stuff on her new microphone that she had purchased, and let's say, um, it's awesome. She might actually draw some pictures to go along with the, uh, the video. Not the video, I'm sorry, the, um, uh, the, uh, oh, my brain is melting. She might draw some pictures to go along with the audio that we recorded. It is awesome. There's a lot of plan here. There's much more in my closet upstairs. Where's my cat? Oh, oh my voice. I feel like, I, I feel like that woman, although it has to still drop like two octaves lower, I feel like that woman from War of the Roses, I can't remember her, her name right now, that actress. I love her. And I can't, for the life of me, I don't know, somebody help me. Tell me what's her name, please. And, uh, this is the most I've ever lost my voice before, so I think that's why I'm, I'm more not excited about it, just having fun with it and seeing how bad it can get, because I know it gets better when you don't talk as much, but I've been shouting on a microphone and chatting with my friends all night, and I'm still kind of getting over being a little bit sick, but, uh, like the fever and the feeling of the sick is pretty much gone, it's just now, it's, it's this and the coughing, and, and just being a little bit overworked, but this this is fun. I like it. I think uh, I think this rant is is done. Um, wish me luck on my voice tomorrow at work. I most of my sales is me talking to people. I work retail. I have to speak to them. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I should really stop talking, but I'm not going to. I don't want to. I'm having too much fun. This is all. So much flannel plaid. <laughs> okay, aside from all the plaid and the flannel, I just want to show you. I forgot one more part about the limits of my voice. I, it's showing audio, my things to. It's a dinosaur from our imagination. When he's tall, he's what we call a dinosaur sensation. All his friends are big and small, they come from lots of places. At the school, they meet the play and sing with happy faces. There's just lots of things like how to play pretend. A, B, C's, and one through threes on how to be a friend. He comes to play with us, and we may need him. But it can be your friend too if you just make believe him. <laughs> I've lost my mind and I love it.